Hi guys, my name is Mara and I want to show you something. So, you want to switch to Linux from macOS or Windows, but you don't know what distro to choose. Well, there is a site called Distro Chooser. This site is just a test. With this test, it is going to, uh, to actually tell you what distro you need to choose. I'm going to start the test, so I'm going to start this test. Some distributions are made for a special purpose. Some for daily use, what do you need? I want a distribution for daily use and for game. And maybe the user is visually impaired. Okay, proceed. How would you rate your proficiency, proficiency, sorry, using a computer? I often need help from others to fix problems with my computer. I'm already able to solve some computer problems by myself. I can troubleshoot most or all computer problems by myself. So I'm going to put this. A 7 one because I think if you are gamer you already know how to fix some pro computer problem so proceed how would you rate your knowledge of Linux itself I have little or no knowledge about Linux it's not true but I want to do this test this way how many settings do you wish to tweak by yourself during installation how many configuration variables should be filled with default values you may choose multiple answers I want to use the default preset values in the installation assistant. I want to choose the setting by myself. I want to configure as much as possible using graphical application. I'm going to put all three. I think a person that wants to switch to Linux is a bit curious, so it's going to be tweaking his installation for sure. Hardware support, just choose the second one. I don't think there is a person that has a 32 bit computer so just to, just put the second one if you have a very old computer just put the first one but i don't think so some distribution prefer articles in wikis for troubleshooting what do you prefer i prefer asking others for help it's not true because i I'd rather use the wiki but whatever just put the second one so linux can use a lot of different user interfaces many distributions ship one desktop as default it is important to know if you have any preferences for desktop concept you can switch and install your desktops at any time. You may choose multiple answers. Okay, I prefer a free to use distribution, for sure. You don't need to actually pay for distro Linux. Scope. So, different distributions pre-install different amount of software. Some install a complete suite of basic programs to work out of the box. A distribution of offer all a base install to then let the user install what programs they want to use. I prefer a distribution with all the basic programs. If you are new to Linux, you don't want to actually install all the basic problems. I mean, for basic problems, uh, I say a browser, a text editor, a file manager, a lot of stuff. So just put the first one. That's all. Oh, I'm fine with non-free licenses as long as my system works. You are going to put this for sure. Why? Because if you don't put this, you can't install Steam, Spotify, a lot of apps. So just put the second one. Privacy, I don't want it, uh, this. Basically, some distribution use online services to improve the user experience. It may, this may affect the privacy of the user. For example, the user can be tracked for using such online features. Telemetry, I don't want this, even you, even you. You don't want telemetry, so just put the first one. Administration, I want to solve my problem using a, a kind of app store. That's all. Software updates. Some distribution of the offer faster updates which can affect system stability. What do you prefer? So, this is a good question. Why? If you have a very good computer, for example, a uh, Ryzen 7, last gen, uh, I don't know, 47, a 46, so a very good hardware, I recommend to choose the first one. Why? because modern hardware require modern software if you choose the second one you are you if you are lucky you're going to have a great experience if you're not lucky you're going to have a lot of problem because stable updates are usually older because they are stable that's all you are new i am going to choose the second one get results okay you can put your feedback here so the first one in this is Linux Mint. Linux Mint is a great distribution if you want to start with Linux, but it's not the best one. I'm going to make a video why. But for now, if you are going to switch from Windows or 
Mac OS to Linux, Nuxwind is a great distro, but there is a big problem. You need to use the Edge Nuxwind distro if you want to use a modern hardware. If you have a computer like myself from 2016, Linux Mint will work just fine, without any problem. So, Linux Mint is a great distro. The second one, Zorin OS, another Ubuntu-based distro. I don't like it, but some people like this. You can use it. Elementary OS, another Ubuntu base. Ubuntu, Ubuntu base. Ubuntu, Ubuntu base. Uh, okay, Ubuntu. And I think, at least for me, Ubuntu is better than Linux Mint. The first nine are Ubuntu base. So as you can see, if you choose an Ubuntu distro, it's great for basically everything if you are a new user. For me, I recommend to use the first one. If the site recommend Linux Mint, you need to use Linux Mint. At least try Linux Mint. Obviously, this site is going to put the pro and the cons about this distro. For example, we, are, we cannot recommend distribution for you because it's not a range of programs by default, but at the same time, it's a great so it's a great operating system, so you can use it. For example, another OS that this site don't recommend is well, what is Manjaro, because Manjaro is not suitable for beginners. If you're a beginner, Manjaro is not great. This one is not true because Fedora is suitable for beginners. This one is not true, but I'm going to tell you why in a sec. Because if OpenSUSE is suitable for beginners, OpenSUSE and Fedora are the same. Also, I think that OpenSUSE is a little bit harder than Fedora for a beginner, but that's all. As you can see, there are a lot of distros you can choose, but usually the rule of thumb is the first two distros are full of pro, just use the first two. If the first one doesn't work for you, use the second one. This is a great side, I recommend to use this, so bye bye guys.